Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours and we're back here at Universal Thursday, May 20th and today we're planning on marathoning Velocicoaster so we're going to see how many rides we can get on Velocicoaster today and we'll be here for not as long as usual but we'll still be here for a good amount of time and if I have time I will show you some of the new updates going around in Universal Studios and today is actually my first solo trip as well so that's pretty cool Stay tuned for some Velocicoaster content, and let's get right into it. start at islands today and to get into security they had all the line all the way down by where this temperature checks used to be they don't have temperature checks anymore also the splash pad in city walk is working again so you can get in the splash pad again but we are headed to islands right now I did also want to let you know that there's a new spiel while going through the security it was saying, like from the parking garages, it was saying that masks are no longer required outdoors at the resort, but you still need to wear them in line for an attraction. So any indoor venue, you still need to wear your mask, but you don't need to wear them outdoors. So we just got into islands. I don't see any paper maps available, but also I've noticed a lot of teens wearing the youth program lanyards that Universal has. So that means a lot of local schools are still having field trips at Universal. So just keep that in mind when you go that the parks might be a little busier because there's these other kids here visiting the park. So I wanted to show you guys that I'm not wearing a full mask right now. And you don't have to wear it in the park. And right here was the U-Rest Zone where you could take your mask off for a period of time. A dedicated area. But they have since removed the U-Rest area because now you can walk around the park without your mask. But I will keep it on for the rest of the video because I do want to wear my mask, but I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to wear it in the park anymore, outside. And this is Velocicoaster going right now. We're gonna head over there in a few minutes. So we are actually going to head from the viewing spot here in the very front of the park. We're going to head through Seuss Landing to take the shortcut to Velocicoaster. I recommend this path over going through Marvel if you want to go straight to Velocicoaster for a quicker entry there.
noticed this on the way here, but the this candy store is back open, and it looks like Honk Honkers is closed again. So the main candy store, Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers, is reopened. Once again, this is the bypass bridge entrance for Velocicoaster, but Velocicoaster hasn't opened the bypass bridge yet to walk on. It'll probably open up on the official opening of Velocicoaster for extended queuing, but when it was testing, we were able to stand on the bridge and watch it test, so go check out that video down below. does start by the fountain and it is a 75 minute wait no virtual line but we are heading through the wizarding world and we're gonna head to Velocicoaster now so Velocicoaster is running today and this is where you enter to ride Velocicoaster and it only is soft opening right now it's in technical rehearsals so you are not guaranteed to ride and the operations times are just sporadic but it's usually been running throughout the whole day so you enter here, it's opening on June 10th, and you just come down here by the courtyard. I'm seeing it with the torches on and the single rider line is open we're gonna hit that today so the single rider line just hit capacity but right now we are in the normal wait and we're in the extended queue right now and the normal wait is a hundred minutes so we'll see how long it actually takes Looks like they're running empty trains right now. Last time we were here, the ride shut down during technical difficulties, before technical difficulties, so we were not able to ride. But we did cover a lot of park updates around Universal Studios, so definitely check out that video. And there's a lot of but yeah, definitely check out that video.
had our first ride on Velocicoaster for the day. They're only running, it seems, about three trains right now. And one of the trains are empty because there's an issue in the front seat with the harness. So it's basically like they're running two. We sat on a 100 minute wait, but it really didn't feel that long. And we're going to see if we can get a second ride now. And we're going to see if we can do the single ride or not. It's definitely a lot busier out here now. The extended queue. Right, again, we just got off our second ride. Let's see how it is. Yeah, we got front row that time. It was amazing. My fourth ride on that. Let's see if we can get ride number five. Number three of the day. Five total. Single riders is still a capacity, and it's a 90 minute wait. Single riders just opened, so now we're in the single rider queue. So the single riders line is a little bit different. It's you hang out in the first room, and then right after you hit the lockers. So you put your items away early, and then you head up the stairs, and you're in the pre-show room upstairs for a long time, and you're right next to the boarding station. So that's how the single riders works. And we did get three rides today. We're gonna stop now because I have a little limited time today and I want to hit Hagrid and Hulk and show you the updates in the other park. So we'll come back another time soon to get more rides on Velocicoaster.
So it says the wait time for Hagrid is 30 minutes right now. So we're gonna go up to the entrance and see how long it really is though when we get online. But to enter into Hagrid, since it's a long wait, we have to enter by the fountain. But since it's a weekday and it's not as busy as the weekend, we don't need a virtual pass. So we just got off Hagrid, really fun time. We're gonna skip Hope today because we're gonna head to the other park and show you the new updates around Universal Studios. Since we're coming through Seuss Land and the high in the sky Seuss Charlie ride is a 15 minute wait. If you ever see it at a 15 minute wait, I definitely recommend riding it because that ride is usually like upwards of 50 minutes or an hour. So that's like a walk on at that point. Definitely recommend it, but we're gonna head to the other park and show you some of the updates around there. So it might be a little hard to hear me throughout the video. That's because of the high winds today. And the high winds also has called Rip Ride Rocket. It's caused it to close today, temporarily, just due to the high winds. But another attraction that hasn't been operating well today in studios is Mummy. It's down for just technical reasons. So we're actually just gonna go and show you the new updates and then we're gonna ride Men in Black. The lines are long today to get into the turnstiles, and they've been long around the parks as well. There's some high crowds. This summer is going to be really busy, so if you want to know how to conquer the crowds, I have a video for that. It gives you some nice tips. Now, it was recorded during the spring break time, but the same tips can be used for the summer crowds as well. We're now in the parks, so let's go show you the new stuff around the parks. This is a long line for some crepes today. It could be longer, and this summer it will be longer. But this is it's actually not that bad. It just looked long from the front. Yes, we are going into Kid Zone today. That's where we have the new updates at Studio. So, remember the Barney construction site? Well now, it's called DreamWorks Destination. They're gonna have an interactive character meet and greet opening this summer so we're gonna go look at some of the new props they have for this location so they actually have the truss open there but they have a banner for Gabby's dollhouse trolls and then they even have Beard Untamed, they're advertising for a new movie. But, I'm assuming they will have other DreamWorks characters like Kung Fu Panda characters, Madagascar, some of the trolls, um, and Shrek. The other thing I wanted to show you guys today was that the Fivelist Playland has reopened along with all the other kitty areas except the Curious George area. So as we walk into Fievel's Playland, there's a bunch of nets, some cool slides for the kids. I know some of the slides aren't fully open, but it looks like the water slide is. This slide is really fun. I definitely recommend riding this. You will get wet. You get a little raft to sit in. You can either re ride by yourself if you're an older person, and if you're a kid, you could ride with an adult. We'll watch it go here. It's a really fun ride. It's like a tube slide. You go up there. Really fun. You should definitely ride it next time you come. So those are our new updates around the kitty area today. Um, the Jurassic World Tribute Store is still not open, so that will open shortly. But right now we're gonna get a ride on Men in Black and see how we do today. So we're about to get evac off of Men in Black. All the lights are on in the showroom. Right now we're just waiting for the team member to evacuate us off the ride.
we'll put the Star Wars there. You ever been back off the ride before? This is my This way, this way. Uh, <laughs> Once they get these guys off, someone's gonna come over and get you guys off, and they'll walk you all back with that. Oh, almost full pack. Near the back is over there now. Mm -hmm. And Kyle, you want to hang out with them? And Parker, if you could come over here and yeah. get these guys on. I can take care of them if you guys want to talk. Okay. Your lap bars are going to be coming up in three, two, one. We're on the first row come down. The second row, you can wait right there for me. Stay on this carpet area right here for me. Yep. All right, second row, come on now. Stay over here for me. You guys stay on the carpet. You're all going to walk back as a big group. When you get back to the platform, I think you can do a single use of press pass use for another ride, okay? Make sure that mask is on, please. Okay, Kyle, you're good. Excuse me, Parker, just follow behind. Ooh, the So we just got evac all from Men in Black. I hope you got to see some of that footage. It wasn't very clear because I was filming on my phone and my phone's kind of older, but it was still cool to see nonetheless. Um, we got a temporary express pass. This is the back. It shows you what attractions you cannot use it on and it expires June 1st, I believe. No, it expires later on, but we are gonna head out now from the park because I gotta get home. I'll be back hopefully next week to cover some more news and events around the park. So thank you for following with us today. We got to ride Velocicoaster three times. Did some Hagrid, did half Men in Black. But we had a, overall a really good time, my first solo trip in the park. So stay tuned as we head next time over here. Show you some more updates and more Velocicoaster. Follow me on Twitter at Ethan Hershaft and follow me on Instagram at Florida Theme Park Picks. Stay tuned.